Hello! In this short video, we'll show you how you can optimize your site's SEO by having a closer look at your keyword usage and how it's affecting your site in the search engine rankings. Whether single words or complex phrases, getting the most out of your keywords is still vital to search engine optimization, helping potential visitors who are searching for content like yours to actually be able to find you. Now, because historically it has been the bedrock for SEO, and thus the bedrock for everyone under the sun optimizing, stuffing, and trying every trick in the book to capitalize on. Search engine algorithms have evolved over the years to combat abuse. But that's not to say that keywords are dead. It's just that the old way of tracking them is dead, while their importance is still very much alive. They are still the clues you leave behind like breadcrumbs so that your lost users can find you. But bear in mind that they aren't set in stone. If you've done your research and narrowed in on specific keywords you'd like to leverage, then great. But it would be a great mistake to stick with those keywords at all costs when, for instance, other keywords and keyword sets are doing a better job of driving traffic. So all that is to say, don't be afraid to let your keyword efforts evolve as you learn more about your visitors and what brings them to your site. That's the art of fine-tuning your keywords and getting the most out of your SEO efforts. So let's look at a real-world example here. After we run our website on SEO Site Checkup, we can see that we have a few issues here involving keywords. The most common keywords test analyzes your entire site and tells you which keywords are used the most and how often exactly. In this case, there is likely no optimal keyword density, but that's not necessarily bad, since search engines have evolved in recent years beyond using keyword density in their metrics. So the main thing that we want to look at here is to ensure that the keywords that we are using reflect the general topic of our site. And even more importantly, we want to make sure that they are used organically and with proper grammar. In this section, we can see that these keywords that we're using most often aren't in our title or meta description tags. Assuming that we are targeting these keywords, we'll want to fix that in our site's code by adding a title tag that contains one or some of those keywords and also a meta description tag. Both of these tags are in the head section of your website's pages. The keywords cloud here is just a convenient visual representation of the keywords on your site and their relation to other text or keywords. And in the related keywords section, you'll see how your URL is ranked according to certain keyword sets. All of this is worth keeping an eye on and adjusting the text on your site if necessary. For instance, if you've been targeting keywords that are far too popular or are too expensive for ad campaigns, then it's worth rethinking them, targeting different but related keywords that are more likely to find an audience, and then from there making sure that the text on your website is adjusted accordingly. Be sure to check out our article library for more in-depth knowledge, as well as detailed information on selecting the best keywords for your site. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, you'll find a wealth of information on best keyword practices so that you can put together a solid keyword targeting strategy that works for you. Also, feel free to check out our other videos so you can keep fine-tuning and getting the most out of your SEO. And click subscribe here to stay updated with new tips and tricks to get you to the top of the search engine results pages.